Family, my name is Aisha May and this is May Day. On this segment of the channel, I bring you along on my musical journey as well as my journey traveling across the U.S. with my husband, son, and dog. One of the first questions that people ask me when I tell them that I full-time RV is what do you do about like your doctor's visits? What do you do about your health care? I book the appointment. I book the appointment. That's what I do. We have health insurance through um, my employer, but I know that there are other options that people have. I highly recommend that if you are going through your employer or if you have a choice that you go with a PPO, because with that, you can go to like any out of network doctor for the most part, and you can travel across the country or wherever and not have to worry about referrals and the doctor being in network and pre-approvals and all that other good stuff. The insurance is not that expensive for us to work, but of course it's still expensive. I mean, it's not like it's free or anything like that. And I did look into the Affordable Care Act and, you know, Obamacare. I think I saw that it averages around $400 per person for insurance. That's really expensive, but it might be something that you want to go with. Also, um, if you don't have any medical, like serious medical issues like that, you might want to go with a low deductible or high deductible plan. With those, you pay a low premium, but you basically pay out of pocket. And you can come out on top if you are a person who doesn't go to the doctors very often. So, you know, that is also an option. I don't recommend not having any health insurance. I know some people do that, but you never know what might happen and you don't want to get caught up with a ton of medical bills, but you can honestly have a ton of medical bills with insurance. So, you know, it's all about what you want to do and what you, you know, with the high deductible plan, I know that you spend a certain amount of money out of pocket and then after that your insurance will cover 100%. But you might have to spend like $6,000 out of pocket for an individual. So, you know, it's all about how much money you spend. Since we've been on the road, we have had quite a few medical issues. My husband had to get his teeth pulled in Arizona. I have had to have... Um, I've gone to the dermatologist. I don't know if you can see. It's doing better. My skin's doing better than it was, but it's still not where it needs to be. Quick um, recap. I have uh, fun fungal acne, and they prescribed me ketoconazole, which I have to put on my face every day. And when I went to the doctors, I was thinking to myself, like, okay, they're going to have a quick fix for this. And no, they did not. They were like, okay, use this medicine and it'll work in one to two months. So it's been slow going, but going nonetheless. And I, one minute it's better and then it takes a step back and then it's better again. It takes a step back. But I think overall, you know, it's definitely improving. Kyle has seen uh, pediatricians. He's had dental work. He had a tooth pulled. He had um, x-rays done. One of the things with homeschooling, especially out of Pennsylvania, is that you have to show um, that you completed all of your, you know, health requirements, like your shots and your dental and all of that. So we do have to submit those things every year. And we find doctors wherever we go, Georgia, Florida, Arizona. California, you know, we go where we need to go. And lastly, I actually had a cancer scare earlier this year when we were in New Mexico and I felt underneath my neck and I had two 
really noticeable lumps under my neck. So I went to the doctors uh, when we got back to Arizona and I saw them pretty quickly. Um, I went to like a urgent care, but they have a family practice there. So the doctor there told me that, you know, she wouldn't be too concerned about it, but to give it a month. And she gave me antibiotics. If you don't get better, then come on back. Took the antibiotics after a month, didn't get better. So I went back. Um, so then she referred me to an ENT. I went to the ENT. He gave me another round of antibiotics. They, he said, if that doesn't work, then we're going to go ahead and do a biopsy. So um, the antibiotics didn't work. And I did have to go back to him again and see an oncologist. And... Um, they wanted to do a biopsy because they thought that it could be cancerous. It could be a lymphoma. So um, I did have to go to the hospital in Arizona and have the biopsy done. I mean, with, I don't know, I would say because of RV life, but also because of COVID, um, you can't have so many people in the hospital with you. Children can't come into the hospital unnecessarily. So my husband couldn't come in the hospital with me when I had the procedure done. Um, they had to stay outside. Now, the nice thing about it was that they were able to take the RV and park outside. And, you know, he, I gave his information so that if there was any type of emergency, he could run in and, you know, I'm sure they would let them bring Kyle in at that point. But um, I will say also that I went through all of that and I didn't have any issues with insurance. I didn't have any issues with people saying, well, where, what, you know, your ID says Pennsylvania, everything says Pennsylvania, but you're here. That was never an issue. And when you think about it, people travel all over the country and even the world for certain procedures and everything. So I don't see why that would have been any kind of issue. Um, just an update on that, because the biopsy was, I want to say, in April or March, March, I believe. And um, we're now in November. I did have to go back. As you know, we've been in California for a little while. So I did have to go back to Arizona because those are the doctors that I feel really comfortable with. Um, they provided me with excellent care. I mean, they were on it. Like the moment that I knew that something was going on, I didn't have to wait for appointments. It wasn't a big issue, like I said, with referrals or anything like that. Everybody just saw me right away. It was like, okay, your appointment is for two days from now, or, you know, your follow-up is for a week from now. Um, it was just really good. So those are the doctors that I felt really comfortable with. Now, when I got my biopsy results, it did come back benign, but the doctors were just really concerned because my levels were elevated, um, like my white blood cell count, my um, protein was really high and they were really concerned because even though they did the biopsy and everything was okay, like, and if you look in some of my old videos, you might see like where it's swollen and it's like, yeah, it was like really swollen all around here. Like I had like a serious, serious double chin going on, um, but it was like so swollen and then it was tender and I was just really tired all the time. So um, they wanted me to do a second biopsy because there was still another mass left in there. But um, I asked them if I could hold off because I kind of wanted to leave. I was tired of being in Arizona. It was kind of dry out there and I wanted to get near some moisture. So we went ahead and went to California. <laughs> I probably, you know, it's probably not the wisest move, but um, you know, that's what we did. I am happy to say that I went back. Like I said, no issues. I saw my family doctor who wanted to see me for a separate issue um, because that, yeah, that urgent care place became my new like local West Coast family doctor. Um, but I saw them and it was no problem. They fit me in. No issue at all. Um, and then I saw the oncologist and they ran. I had to 
get a bunch of tests done and everything came back fine. They said that there is no sign of any cancer. Um, they do think that I have a autoimmune disorder or disease, but at this point it's not something worth going into because they did check me for like lupus and stuff like that, like the big ones. So, um, I just need to now get healthy, which has been tough with traveling. And maybe I'll do a video on that sometime. But I really need to work on that so that that whole uh, autoimmune issue doesn't have a serious flare up. And that could have been one of the things is that he asked me if I had COVID and I said, no, um, I think I may have had COVID back in January of 2020, but I'm not entirely sure. So I don't tell people that, but, um, I don't know. It, it, it could have been something that popped up as a result of that or not. I don't know, but I just know my body was fighting something like fighting something seriously. I was really sick and I don't know why I was. It's just like, there's like no real answer. I would not let health care or, you know, health insurance and everything. I wouldn't let those things hold me back from this lifestyle. Now, if I had a serious condition, um, I probably put things on pause. And that's actually what we did. We put things on pause and hung around in Arizona much longer than we had originally planned because of all the doctor's visits and the procedures and the wait and sees and everything. So, um, I would not really let that hold me back, but I would, you know, just be smart about it. The same way you would be at home. If you break, what's the difference if you break your leg at home or if you break your leg in another state? I mean, I will say that I do have the advantage of having my husband and my son here and they take care of me, um, as opposed to, let's say, if you're a solo traveler. So if you're a sol solo traveler, then that's different. I completely understand that. Um, but if you're traveling with your family, then you can get the help, the assistance you need. The only thing, like I said, is that it's tough when you have to go in for visits or procedures and nobody can come with you. But they can't come with you in the operating room anyway, and they are not coming in with you when you see the doctor. So they're just gonna be waiting in the waiting room. So what does it matter if they're waiting in the waiting room or if you have a little waiting room going on outside the doctor's office or hospital in your RV? Same thing. So until next time, family, be blessed, stay safe, stay healthy.